The last weeks of January got busy quite quickly and yet it still felt more like a whole season than just a month. She wants to say hi. Hi! Tomorrow is my husband's birthday and I'm already prepping some stuff because we're gonna have a few people over uh, for dinner. It's gonna be like a finger food type of dinner, so there's not gonna be a main meal just like a bunch of tapas and snacks and stuff like that. I started making the bread early this morning. I'm baking two sourdough loaves. I made a mixture of spelt flour and whole wheat flour. And then I divided the dough and I added sesame seeds and carrots to one of the loaves. And I'm gonna let it ferment throughout the day and I might have to bake them tonight, but everything else I'm only gonna be able to do tomorrow. So now I have to make a grocery list and then go to the supermarket. But first I'm gonna have lunch because I have therapy today and I don't want to be late. Excited, but overwhelmed. <laughs> This turned out to be quite a challenge. It took me so much longer than I thought and it was way more chaotic than I thought. I wanted to do everything by myself so that Zay could enjoy his birthday and just sit back and relax and do whatever he wanted. But it was indeed a very chaotic day in the kitchen. In retrospect, it could have gone quicker if I timed things a little bit better. But I've learned a lot and I, I'm definitely gonna do things slightly different next time. Anyway, even though I wasn't able to film a lot of the process, I still wanted to show you guys the final result. Just a few days after Zez's birthday, my sister, her fiancé and their daughter, my niece, came to visit us here in Berlin. We hadn't seen each other since August and we had a really great time with them here. We walked around a bunch, ate lots of good foods, had a few drinks, went to a few new restaurants. And we also found this museum in Kreuzberg called Chroma, which is basically an interactive museum with sound and visual installations. It was a very stimulating experience, although I did find it a little expensive. We paid 19 euros per adult, which I think it's too much, especially because the place wasn't that big. Although I do know that these types of museums usually require a lot of resources and expensive technology to keep it running, so I don't know. Um, it was a nice experience. I, I'm not sure if I'll be back, but I really had a great time there. It's been a while since I last sat and talked to you guys, or at least for me it feels like 
a really long time. Things got a little busy on the last couple of weeks of January. I got a couple of wisdom teeth extracted and today is actually the first day in five days where I was able to drink coffee. Now I'm finally starting to feel like a real human being again and slowly getting back to normal life and normal routines and stuff like that. Um, it's just a shame that I can't have any spicy food for a while and I guess I wasn't really aware of how much spicy food I was having on a regular basis and so it feels really weird right now not being able to add a little bit of sriracha or a hot sauce to a meal and I'm having cravings all the time but anyway now we have entered a new month which I'm very excited about because the days are getting longer and spring is just around the corner which makes me feel hopeful i guess <laughs> i've been kind of in a rut ever since mid-december or something i just don't have a lot of energy and i kind of feel stuck creatively as well i just i just don't know exactly what to do about it to get myself out of this and so at least knowing that the weather is going to be slowly changing for the better makes me feel good already also having someone from portugal over did make me feel a little bit homesick i mean i really like to live in berlin but sometimes i do feel i guess sometimes we feel a little bit lonely Maybe not lonely per se, but definitely a little alone. Just because we don't really have family here, we don't have a lot of friends here, we don't know a lot of people, and so I just don't know who can we rely on or ask for help in case something happens, in case of an emergency or... I don't know, it's, it's a really strange feeling. Of course, me and Zek can always rely on each other in times of need, but it's also important to have friends and a community around you that you can count on as well your life partner should not be everything for you you know and you it's not fair for you it's not fair for the other person and yeah i've been craving a lot of community and connection and close friendships most of my friends don't live here i never had a lot of friends i was never that type of person i never belonged to a group or anything and I always fantasized about this sitcom situations where you have like a close group of friends and you kind of do a bunch of stuff together and are there for each other I never really had that growing up I always moved around so much that I never really set roots in a specific place and I feel like I'm constantly living far away from my friends or at least my closest friend. Personally, it's been a big struggle for me to make friends here. Um, not here specifically in Berlin, but in Germany in general. <laughs> and I recognize that's partially my fault. I mean, making friends as an adult is already difficult, but especially hard when you are an introverted person that doesn't go out a lot. And also I feel like I often struggle to understand the dynamics in social situations. And so I understand that it's it makes my life a little bit harder. It's really difficult to find someone you connect with and the feeling is mutual. Sometimes I meet someone and I feel like we're really vibing, we have a lot of things in common and the conversation is going really well, but then we often don't see each other again. And even if we do see each other again, there's really no guarantee that a friendship is gonna flourish. I mean, I there's people that I know here in Germany that I've met literally the first week that I arrived and I've been with these people so many times in many situations, but I don't think I'm their friend. They don't see me as their friend. They don't include me in stuff. They're always together doing stuff, but I'm just never really included, which is totally fair. They don't really have to be my friends if they don't want to, but it's a little confusing to me because when we do see each other, we kind of have a great time, at least from my perspective. There's a neighbor looking at me. Okay, <laughs> now I'm feeling self-conscious. That really confuses me. Um, I just don't get it. And maybe it's a cultural thing, I don't know. But also there's something weird that happens and it happens to me and Zek constantly, which is 
Sometimes I'm talking to a German person and we're really having a great conversation, for example. And then another German person comes and then they just start talking to each other. They just talk to each other and completely forget that I exist. And at first I thought like, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe I said something that I shouldn't and they weren't actually enjoying our conversation. But then I talked to other non-German people that live here and they said that they experienced the same thing. So maybe it's a cultural thing. But I don't know, like for me as a Portuguese, that's a really strange thing to do to someone. Um, I don't know. <laughs> of course, it's not all bad. I did meet a few people that I really like and they're great people. And I do consider them my friends, although sometimes I'm not sure if they consider me theirs. But I guess that's um, a question that I'm always gonna have. Maybe I'll never know. <laughs> but a lot of these things that I'm talking about actually happened when I was living in Munich. The social scene here in Berlin is definitely different because there's a lot of people living here that are not from here. They come from many different places around Germany and the world. And I do feel like it's much easier to meet people here, but there's a downside to it, which is because there are so many people living here temporarily, it kind of seems to me they don't really make the effort to build a long lasting connection with you uh, or build like a long lasting relationship or whatever you want to call it, um, which is a shame. Anyway, I feel like I've been talking for a really long time and I'm getting tired, my camera is almost out of battery, so I'm going to the cinema today to watch The Holdovers. I'm super excited about that movie ever since I saw the trailer, because it does feel like a movie that was made in the 70s. It seems like a really nice feel-good movie, and that's, that's what I really feel like I need right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go, and I'll see you on the next video.